wanted to use really sure. When we found Will, um, it became clear to us the moment we saw his picture that what were we doing? This was the child that was meant for us our entire lives. And so we, uh, of course, immediately got our act together in terms of the adoption process and started that long journey. Um, and only two months after that, I got a phone call from Colleen that said, hey, Jen, she said, your number's up. She said, I have a little girl from you, for you. And I said, uh-oh, <laughs> that would make two at once <laughs> from zero to 360. But how could we say no? Because Zoe is the most adorable and amazing girl we've ever met. And Will is the most amazing young man. And so we pursued that process of adoption uh, sort of simultaneously. Um, and uh, we have to tell you that we are so fortunate to have them both home. Because going through that journey was not as easy as you might expect. Um, and I guess, you know, it's never easy for any adoptive family out there. Um, but when you see the children that are going to become part of your lives, uh, every moment is worth it. Um, but every moment that you wait is also very painful uh, as you watch them get older and you know that they're just uh, paperwork and, and sort of difficult transitions to get them home. So having said that, um, I would like to share with you one story about Will because his coming home, or his meeting of us, was the most amazing day ever. If you can imagine, I'm sure many families out there who are angels, uh, who have brought home your loved ones, your children, you may have found that that transition uh, was not so easy. And I think there's not a lot of resources out there for us. Our daughter Zoe cried incessantly for months on end. Um, but our son, essentially, Bill can tell the story better than me, um, said, hi, Mama, hi, Baba, cried for about an hour, saying goodbye to his nannies uh, from China, had a very large bowel movement. Big. <laughs> and then... Proud of my boy. <laughs> and then was all right and knew that he was ours and has never cried since. <laughs> as awesome as our kids are, as wonderful an experience it uh, had been both times, uh, in 2013, we traveled around the country, uh, the world twice to pick up our kids. Um, and, uh, and, and they are amazing. But there are a lot of hurdles that we had to go through to get to that point. Um, being on TV, turns out, does nothing for you with the USCIS. <laughs> Not at all. You may know me from such, nope, don't care. <laughs> Not at all. Um, and, uh, and, and, and that's perfectly fine, because uh, it, it showed me uh, the path that everyone has to go down. Uh, I went down that same path. My wife went down that same path. And uh, it's, it's tough, the paperwork, the background checks on you know, your, your landscaper and your, your, your housekeeper and stuff like that that have nothing to do with what you want to do with your children as they grow up. Um, the paperwork that gets lost, that you then have to struggle to replicate. Um, all those things are difficult little hurdles that you need to um, accomplish in order to uh, get to China or get to India to adopt your child. And um, unfortunately, that means that the child will be sitting there waiting for you in an institution that may or may not be taking as good a care of them as you would like to have them uh, uh, receive. Um, so. To the folks here, uh, well, you have the power. Um, you know, uh, we've been uh, inspired by all of the people that we've met uh, that do a heck of a lot more for adoption on a global scale than we've ever done. And, um, and what I would ask of everybody here tonight is to continue that plight um, because there is um, uh, a loving child out there waiting for someone, and they're waiting a little bit longer because of some extra paperwork or because two countries can't uh, get along or uh, explain uh, uh, the logistics of paperwork uh, to expedite this process. Because um, this is paperwork shuffling, and we get lost in this minutia. And in the meantime, there's a child that's starving, or that's not getting medical care, or that's not with their family uh, forever a little bit sooner. So thank you very much for the effort that you guys provide, and I look forward to seeing you provide more of it.